Shalom, children of Israel. It's me, Mikael Massa. Nice to meet you. Let's start. We are going to Revelation 2 and 9. I know thy work and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich, and I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews, and are not, but are the synagogue of Shaitan. Now, what do you think is the Most High? Is he blind? Is he corrupt? Is he a liar? Do he do mistakes? Now, if he's saying you're living in tribulations and poverty, he means it so. But if he say also thou art rich normally, then it is so. And blasphemy of the world that says other people refer nearing to our to be Jews but are not. But we are going on to the part that he says thou art rich. What means that? Is it paper? Is it paper? Is it is it normal money? Or what do he really means with thou are rich? With what these people are rich if they struggle? Now let's go into it. We're going to Nehemiah 9, 3, and 6. Now, behold, we are servants this day, and for the land that thou gavest unto our fathers to eat the fruit thereof, and the good thereof, behold, we are servants in it. Okay, very important verse. We have to know. That the Most High, He did not create the money, but He created the earth and everything that is inside the earth. And if He say the Israelites are rich normally, He means the things that He gave to them spiritually. And physically and that's why we want to know the truth about the riches of the real Israelites now let's start we are going to Malachi or Malachi
2 and 3. I have loved you, says the Lord. Yet ye say, Rain has thou loved us. Was not Esau Jacob's brother, says the Lord? Yet I have loved Jacob. And I hated Esau, and the laid his mountain and his heritage waste for dragons of the wilderness. What means this verse? To know what this verse really means, we are going to another precept. We are going back to Genesis 27. 38 to 41 it says and Esau said unto his father hast thou but one blessing my father bless me even me also O my father and Esau lifted up his voice and wept and Isaac his father answers and says to him behold thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and of the dew of the heaven from above. Now, and Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, The days of the morning for my father are at hand. Then will I slay my brother Jacob. Do you know what Esau have from the father what kind of blessings he was blessed with war yeah with war and if it means that he will live without no fatness from the earth now what means that go to Europe go to the most parts of Asia go to Russia go to the so-called Middle East, go to America, yeah, and you will see, yeah, even Arabia, you will see the land is a desert, and it, it does not rain so much, the land has no fatness, it's not the land of milk and honey, the land is not blessed, Okay, the, you cannot do good agriculture. So, the Most High blessed Jacob with spiritual gifts. And he blessed him with not paper, because money today is paper, is just paper. But he blessed Jacob with land and this land has a lot of things and that's why he says why my children are asking me if I love them or not yes of course he loved Jacob he do that's why he gave Jacob everything and everything means he gave them the land that has everything and he gave them the power of spirituality to know how to handle those things that is inside this land now let's go to hebrew 6 and 7 watch this For the earth which drinks in the rain that comes oft upon it and brings forth herbs meat for them by whom it is dressed, receive blessing from Yah. 
Yah give them a land where they can do agriculture. A land where you can put everything and it will grow fast. That's why, my brothers and sisters, let's go to another precept very fast. We are going to Romans 11. And let's go to 11. I say, then have they stumbled that they shall fall? God forbid. But rather true, therefore salvation is come into the Gentiles. This is part one. For to provoke them to in, into jealousy. Now if the fall of the them be the riches of the world and the diminution the of them, the riches of the Gentile, how much more their fullness. Okay. So um the Gentiles are rich because of the Israelites okay so that's why the Gentiles can never say that they uh, are rich because of themselves no they are rich because the Israelites yeah are feeding them okay but now the time has come that the Israelites will be getting strong and they will go back to their countries and lands and rebuild again Jerusalem. And they will do agriculture, building houses and more. And then how much more will be their fullness. This means if they get in together again, hey, this will be Wakanda, you know, this will be the new generation. This will be this will be the, the this 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 is the, the, the end time prophecy, you know, that everything will be nice and new. This is that, that the, what the most I want to say. Okay. Because he says, this is very important verse that comes now. Watch this. And if some of the branches be broken off, and thou being a wild olive tree, were have grafted in among them, and with them, pacatus of the root, and fatness of the olive tree, Boast not against the branches, but if thou boast, thou bearest not the root, but the root D. This is very important. Okay? This means we are feeding the nations. Yeah? Because <laughs> these nations are grafted in. Okay? So, we are feeding them. Now, this is the richness that the most I gave to Ye Jacob. This is the thing that the most high, the most people don't know about the most high. The most high did not create money. Because the most people if they go to worship Yah or to beg him for, for help, the first thing that comes of their mouth is Most High, please give me money. No wisdom, but they want money, okay? And this is very sad because the Most High is not working like that. The blessings from Jacob are not like that. If the nations are working like that, this isn't this is this is this is not the most high, yo. This is not the most high, yo. Here, watch this. I go to I go to Matthew 13 and 44 and it says again the kingdom of heaven is like unto treasure 
hide in a field. The wish when a man have found, he hide it, and for joy the roof got, and sold all that he had, and bought the field. So the field is very important. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the field is very important. Yeah. Now, because you don't know what is inside the field. So if he say he gave, he loved Jacob, he did not give Jacob weapons to conquer the world. He did not give Jacob women's or the moon or stars and dragons and and stones and wood, yeah, to worship uh, demons. No, he gave them instruction. He gave them love. And he give them his land. He protect him with animals, with with, with 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 everything that is inside the land. And he gave them that the best of the best thing is spirituality. Watch this. And that's why we should go back, yeah, and learn from our ancestors our spirituality, because without it we are nothing. Yes. We have to keep all the commandments like we can because we can never is no one who can keep not even Christ was saying he kept all commandments. They was asking him and he say only the most high, brothers and sisters, only the most high. So it's not it's not the, the problem is not uh, to keep the commandments. The problem that we have now is love working. And keeping the commandments. Love, working, and keeping the commandments. These are the things that is most, that is very important. But this is not everything. Because the other important thing is we have to know how we was worshiping the Most High before we went to slavery. And this is very important. Because if we know that, then we can change many, many things. Now, watch this. This is Isaiah. This is Isaiah 59 and 21. As for me, this is my covenant with them. Save the Most High, my spirit that is upon thee. And my words, which I have put in thy mouth, shall not depart out of thy mouth, nor out of the mouth of thy seed, nor out of the mouth of thy seed, seed, save the Most High, henceforth and forever. That's why no one can stop Jacob. It's inside him. This is, these are blessings. If you see people are talented with uh, preachings and doing miracles and all those things this is a blessing this you can't take it from them the only thing what the, mo the nations do is they deceive those people they bring them to magic and uh, other religions and then they uh, how can i say they, they take the gift from you or they they use you for them for to, to work for them and uh, yeah, many things the nations do to stop the most highest work because the spirit is inside of us and to know all those, really to know all the secrets that our, how our uh, grandfathers and fathers was jumping around into uh, to, to, to doing space traveling and healing the healing the a lot of sicknesses doing miracles and stuff if we want to know this kind of secrets we have to go back there where we come from this is very important because only like this we will know the truth and yes 